We went to the LA Zoo this last Halloween to show Izzy some awesome animals. Here's a cheerful California Harbor Seal that greeted us when we entered. It was Halloween when we went, so there was a horror maze that was set up for all the guests. Spooky. They also had a massive reptile exhibit. Where do these pythons live again? I think they're indigenous to uh, Australia and New Guinea. Here's a beautiful green vine snake. Here's Izzy meeting a gila monster. Did you know that they've been around since the dinosaurs? Here's a massive freshwater aquatic exhibit. Awesome. Here are a couple of really big monitor lizards making some little monitor lizards. Here's an Indian gharial. It's a large crocodile with a very long and thin snout filled with 114 razor sharp teeth. Yikes! Did you know they've been around since T-Rexes were walking around this planet? Boy, my head being right all the time. Here's my favorite part of the zoo, the flamingos. They're truly beautiful. Did you know that they're monogamous just like humans? They build pair bonds for life. Here's a mob of meerkats. Meerkats are a member of the mongoose family. They live in matriarchal groups for up to 30 individuals, called mobs or gangs. Here are some majestic western lowland gorillas. Here's a little guy saying hi. Gorillas are the largest and most powerful of all the great apes. Primate group that also includes chimpanzees, bonobos, and orangutans. Did you know that they share about 98% of their DNA with us humans? They're so similar to us, in fact, that gorillas in the wild have been observed using tools out of stones and sticks. Sadly, in Africa, gorillas' habitats are being destroyed by the mining of minerals that are used by our everyday electronic devices, like the one you're watching this on. Here's a big silverback showing everybody who's the boss. Here's a large monitor lizard called a parenti. Here's a rhinoceros hornbill. What a beautiful and exotic bird. Here's one of the four Asian elephants in the park eating a lot of hay. There's different enclosures for the elephants because they have to rotate the elephants throughout the park to simulate all the walking they do throughout a normal day. So you're gonna have to find out where they are during the time you're there. Overall, the LA Zoo provided us with an educational afternoon. Though there were a lot of exhibits that didn't have any animals in them. Overall, the LA Zoo is a pretty good zoo if you're in the LA area. But truly, I recommend leaving two hours earlier to drive down to San Diego because of the San Diego Zoo. That zoo is truly epic. Thanks for tuning in all the way to this part of the video. Really appreciate you guys. Definitely hit that subscribe button so you can see some more and hit that like button. Thank you.